Pisces here and this is the pick a card okay so like and subscribe if you get anything out of this thank you to those of you who always like and subscribe or who just liked and subscribed okay you're super appreciated and um what else if you want to contribute to the channel or get a personal reading my amazon wishlist link and my email address is in the description box okay just email me and i'll get back to you with the details on a personal reading so we got three piles. We got pile one, which is Masters of Mediumship and the Flights of Fancy card. Okay. You can just like pick a number one through three if you want. Pile two is Mind Focus and Personal Growth. And pile three is Energy Scanning and Values and Beliefs. Okay. So... You can just go ahead and pick the timestamp, okay, in the description box, because I'm going to add one. But I'm going to start on Power 1. I'm just writing the timestamp. Okay. So, Power 1. <laughs> Masters of Mediumship, okay. It says, many pioneers, scholars, and tutors in the field of mediumship and psychic sciences have paved the way for aspiring mediums. Um, much can be learned from mediums from bygone years to assist you with the unfoldment of your spiritual abilities and develop them safely and wisely. So you can call on the things like on your past life memories and such. OK, they are just imprinted in your soul. Once you start like, you know, getting to a certain level of awakening, you can start going back to your past lives. Like you really can just start kind of moving shit around the way that you want it to put your energies in order. OK, um, you can gain many insights from the invaluable wisdom and knowledge of those mediums that have dedicated their lives to serving spirits. So um, obviously this is for mediums. <laughs> And um, the closer that you are to spirit, the more connected in you are, okay, the more powerful your mediumship abilities are. That means like talking directly to your ancestors, talking to your angels, because some of us have divine ancestors, like our ancestors are fucking angels and ascended masters, okay. Um, you can learn... You can learn different styles and facets of mediumship, but more importantly, you can understand how they lived and handled their everyday physical lives while using their gifts, talents, and abilities to help others. Let's see. Um, researching some of the past mediums as well as studying present-day experience mediums and teachers will help you gain inspiration and guidance. Be discerning and choose those who resonate with you. Okay, so when you're watching certain mediums, you have to watch the asses, okay? Use your discernment, listen to it, and figure out, do I agree with this shit on a soul level? Is this matching me, or, you know, what I, what I think is for me or not? Okay, so Polyjuice Potion, a highly advanced potion that enables the drinker to take on the appearance of someone else. It is used several times throughout the films Harry and Ron used to become Crab and Goyle and infiltrate the Slytherin common room in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And Hermione uses it to take on the appearance of Beatrix Lestrange. So here we go. Here's some little copycat energy. <laughs> it's my first time, okay? Somebody is trying to duplicate your, you might be a medium, okay? You might, I'm about to, I'm gonna get some candy or that. My cousin just, he just left it sitting there. Okay, you might be like a medium. You might have your own channel or something like that. And it's somebody copying your ass. And copying everything that you're doing. Damn near everything that you're saying. 
It says, tune into your divine portal and bring the world into harmony. This is what you're trying to do. But this is what you are doing. And somebody's trying to do it just like you, okay? <laughs> mm, give with an open heart and be generous, Archangel Charity. So you're very generous, very caring person. Open your heart to give and receive love. Your essence is love. So your essence is love. Like whoever it is, is their essence is not love but they are very good at acting like it they're real good at acting spiritual archangel mary open your heart with compassion and enfold others in love this is what you just need to focus on okay like i'm being yourself don't focus on the competition of whoever is trying to compete with you in your fields because it doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to be a reader you could be a magician i see I see Archangel Charity has like this basket of fruits and stuff. So you could be like a farmer or somebody that likes to grow plants. Or you could be like a caregiver or like a full-time parent. Okay, I get from this baby. Um, Archangel Perlamec, let nature soothe you and serve the nature kingdom. So you need to spend more time outside. Like... <laughs> This is all going to help your mediumship abilities, okay? Gratitude spirit. Because I was like, what? <laughs> it confused me, all of it, all the information together for a second. Just... So relax and open to source, okay? Keep your heart open. Whatever you do, just keep your heart open. Like, you don't, don't worry about, like, you can have whatever you fancy. That's what I heard. That's, you can um, go on whatever flight of fancy you feel like going on and you're going to be successful wherever you go, whatever you do, it doesn't matter. So whoever's trying to copy whatever you got going on, they just can't. Align yourself with the highest and go with the flow. That's all you need to do and need to worry about doing. Please believe me when I say your ancestors got their asses covered. Archangel Rocchio, enter higher planetary service. Be a blazing light. Yes, you're meant to be of higher planetary service okay we are more than just people we're more than just human beings okay we're more than just children of god we have cosmic ancestors we didn't live lifetimes in other galaxies that's why we just that's why babies come out all smart and shit babies come out giving people kisses back and hugs and shit because <laughs> they read they reincarnated okay um so you need to remain grounded and comfortable okay you need to take time to be alone, okay? Um, heavy earth and masculine energy don't always have to be destructive. Stop stop um, doing self-sabotage. That's what I really got from that. Walk the path of courage. Convince others to get things done. Crafty, introspect. So you might be, um, keep to yourself a lot, okay? Be very, uh, but you need to do some introspection too. Like look into you, embrace your weakness or darkness because you don't really have any weakness or darkness, okay? God didn't make any mistakes with you. <laughs> you don't really have any like everybody has a natural dark side it's polarity you know you are and you are essentially two beings you are a masculine being and a feminine being in one okay <laughs> so you have to feed into both sides and the masculine side can be like a little bit darker you know because it's meant to protect it has to be the salmon says, be constantly aware and attuned to your surroundings. You're missing the little things. You need to carve your own path, okay? And whatever um, professional sacrifice you think you made recently, it was there's going to be a blessing from that, okay? The dog is a reliable protector. It shows you unconditional love, loyal, high energy. That's God all day long. He is your bestest friend. He's going to come. He's going to pick you up, carry you, lick your wounds, stay loyal to you, always give you all the energy that he, that you need, okay? As always, some high energy. You know, he's never unkind, untrustworthy, unlawful, or easily influenced when it comes to making a decision about you, okay? And he was, wants you to be a peacemaker, to stay strong and don't allow distractions to deter you from the flow, okay? Thank you. Be kind to yourself. Never mind self-perceived faults and flaws. That's what I was saying. You don't, you're looking at yourself like you have some sort of dark side, pow one, but you do not, or you wouldn't be here watching this, okay? Um, be kind to yourself all the time. Like, it says you're a chameleon. You're just surrounded by, like, piggish people, okay? Very ignorant, greedy, stubborn, unclean people. Like, they lazy, lustful. They're um, working from their ego, like, and they don't like 
like you might want to have a solitary life for a while, okay? Because these people are becoming a very hard stank for you to shake, okay? That's what the card said. It was the skunk card and the pig card. We got some pig skunk ass bitches around you. Look, <laughs> they're waiting till the lights go down low all the time to get your ass. Look, God is going to bless you big for this. Um, but you need you need more info, and they're going to provide it for you. You need to pray for more info, okay? You are a medium ship. You are a medium, okay? I was going to say, you are a medium ship. Seriously, you are a whole medium. You need to connect in with that and, and really trust that when you're hearing it. You're not crazy at all. Wisdom will not enter a shifty soul. And a shifty soul is a soul that acts fraudulently or tries to deceive woes. You know what I mean? People that do fucking spells. Woo, shit, okay? Um, Apocryphia equals hidden things. The Ethiopian, Ethiopian Bible or the second canon, okay, is something that you might want to read. The Ethiopian Bible is very, it's a very important book that needs to be read, okay? Shit. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more for you, Pal 1. And then I got to go to Pal 2 because I don't want to run out of time. But I guess I don't really want to worry about running out of time. Like, if it has to be, I'll just stitch it together, you know, if it's more than one video. But it says creator fire. You need to burn candles. You need to burn candles, okay? Burn candles for your angels, for your ancestors. Burn a purple candle for your ancestors to her. Burn a gold candle for your ancestors. Burn a black candle for protection. Burn a white candle for God. Burn. <laughs> A white candle for the archangels and burn a yellow candle for the ascended masters, okay? Is that it? An orange candle for your sacral chakra, okay? Integrate your knowing. This is what spirit's trying to get you to do. They're trying to get you to use your inner knowing. You know things before they happen, okay? What does your soul say is the next card because you need to listen to that. You need to listen to your inner knowing is very strong. Okay, look, you create alchemy with no problem. You create magic all the time. You just hella magical out here. You don't even know because you're still in doubt about magic itself. Light and the unexpected, okay? This is why Matt, this is magic. Magic is light in unexpected places. And so that's why it's in you, me, and all of our, <laughs> you know, not all of them, but most of our people that we know because we are the unexpected places that God decided to put the light, okay? <laughs> shift the way to new potential. You have to shift your energy. Shift. You might need to shift your house. I need to move the couch or something. But anyways, that's not the point. You are the light. That is the point. And you need to embrace it and really let it shine out of you and be an example to people around you. And show gratitude again and again and again and again and again as much as much as you can. Yes. Yes. Thank you. God. Gratitude. Thank you. You know what I mean? All day. Um, and overrate your intuition. Really listen to yourself when you're getting these nudges because the ideas and nudges and things you've been getting, the signs, they're all... Uh, a clue to the hustle that you've been trying to spark okay listen to yourself and your intuition and you are the muse it says you the muse you the muse okay you don't need it you don't need to get inspired by nobody else you inspire yourself you give yourself the good kind of inspiration you really need to nourish your sacred fem feminine and don't be afraid to be a change maker that way that makes waves because there's a lot of success in the transformations you've been making okay I was channeling real fast and I gotta go. I gotta do um, pile two, so I'll see you later. Okay, hey, pile two or card two, whatever you wanna call it. So you picked this one with mind focus and personal growth, okay? So the mind focus one says, concentration and focus of the mind are keys to sustaining a strong link with the spirit world. To create a strong link with the spirit world, it's important to build up your psychic connection so communication can move freely back and forth between the spirit world and you. A mind that is not focused cannot concentrate on the task at hand. Once your attention veers off somewhere else, the link with the spirit world can easily be broken and you'll have to reinitiate the connection all over again. There are many ways to train your mind to be more focused. Meditation is one way. Simply focus on the rhythm of the breath 
um, as you inhale and exhale. If your mind wanders, bring your awareness back to the breath, focusing all your attention on the flame. I mean, my bad. Focusing. Wait a minute. Yes, all your awareness back to the breath. My bad, I skipped a line. <laughs> Another way to gaze at is to gaze at a single candle, like a flame on a candle, okay? And focusing all your attention on the flame and thinking of nothing else. Focusing doesn't mean intense staring. It's more about placing your awareness on one single thing at a time. And when someone walks by, hold the image of their face in your mind. Being in nature helps too. When you're outside, relax and make yourself comfortable and focus on a beautiful flower or even a tree and notice each and everything about it, from its size to its color, leaves, branches, scent, and so forth. Possessing the power of mind, focus, and concentration will make you a better vessel for the spirit world and those who seek out your help. Okay, so you could be a medium too. You could, you might want to watch pile one, okay? But um, you have this, that's one of your gifts, is the way that you focus your mind. You can focus on one thing at a time and really give that thing all of your attention and block other things out. It might be hard at first, but if you practice it, it will be very, very, you know, helpful to you in the future. Um, so this one says, um, it does not dwell it does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. So, yes, you might be, uh, let, me, let me finish reading it. They said finish reading it. There's nothing wrong with a little daydreaming, but it's important not to get so caught up in dreams that you forget to enjoy your life. Today, leave the daydreams behind and go outside. Visit a new place, meet up with friends, or simply take a walk. Explore the world a little and see what adventures it brings to you. Okay, so they do want you to go out and look at things because they want to give you signs. Um, pay attention to any birds or insects or anything that flies around you, you know, even um, if they're on pictures, like they don't have to be the live animal. Like, of course, <laughs> you're not going to just like walk by a whale. But if you see a picture of some sort of animal, then you can look that up and you might be getting a lot of number signs at this time. So, yeah, I think that's what they really kind of want you to focus your mind on, on not focusing so much. Like, you're too focused, if that makes any sense. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Is this okay, is what they're saying. Like, you're working so hard <laughs> that you're kind of drowning out your, the fun of it all, too, because that's part of the fun. The fun is, is living and being happy, and you probably found out some shit that you didn't want to know about some people that you've been going through with through things with but justice is coming to those people you don't have to worry about that shit look basic bitch basic witch bitches <laughs> here we go okay basic bitch witches it says potion remember to practice self-love like this is why you're gonna get justice because basic witch bitches be out here more focused on what potion they're going to use to get you next than focusing on their self-love, okay? And you just are in your mind about that. Like, your mind is kind of focused on that. They're like, focus your mind on anything else. Like, go stare at a candle flame. It's actually way more, <laughs> it's way more, um, like, helpful to you to work, to, to think about something else, anything else, because that shit is nothing to you. Like, slow down and celebrate yourself is what it's saying. You're overworking yourself and you're overworking your mind too, thinking about some old shit. You're just stardust for crying out loud. Give yourself a break. Gosh. I just kind of went hard. This is a lot of, this is a lot of cards. Okay, I'm not going to take all of them. Yeah, you need to paint the sun back into your sky. You're not having enough fun. And you you might be waiting on somebody to come take you on a date. Spirit said, take yourself on a date. <laughs> Spirit said, take, get your little coffee. <laughs> you might like coffee dates, okay? <laughs> you might think that that's like really, like that's your idea of a perfect first date. Like a really cute coffee date at a coffee shop or something like that. Spirit's like, yeah, take yourself to a little coffee shop, okay? <laughs> Stand around, look outside, okay? You might live, like, near some woods or something. I'm not saying just go chill in the woods <laughs> with a coffee. <laughs> but 
But I'm just saying, like, if you live in a wooded area, you might have, like, a really cool Starbucks or coffee shop that you like to go to that has, like, you know, that woody type of theme. It has, like, a little deck and, I mean, a little dock. I'm really saying, like, a coffee shop with a little um, dock that you can walk down on the lake. That's so specific <laughs> for somebody. Comment. Comment if you got a coffee shop like that because that would be dope. Okay? <laughs> Anyways, um garden something lovely will grow from this so something lovely is going to grow like once you start taking yourself on dates and really giving yourself time to slow down you're going to um really grow from this like you need the self-love in order to attract this person you're trying to attract you're trying to attract somebody like specific okay let your bitch fire fucking burn free they want you to to focus on fire like you're very good at um fire magic i'm gonna tell you right now if you've never tried it i mean that's but that's what candle magic is essentially it's his fire magic okay um try burning candles for yourself like it, it's really good it helps you okay burn a green candle for yourself and a yellow candle for your solar plex burn a green candle a yellow candle Burn a candle for every color from the root to the, sh to the crown chakra, okay? Um, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. So spirit wants you to stand up for yourself more. You're still letting people push you around a little bit. They don't like that shit at all. And think first before you start judging people because you never know what people is going through. And you don't know, look, look at these witches sitting around her. Like, you don't know what people are doing to other people on the outside that are making them act like that or making them be like that. Because <laughs> some people are susceptible to magic because they threw that magic out there. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm going to pause it because I'm re replying to a text message. Okay, so like I was saying, you never know what the fuck people is around doing, okay? What outside influences are affecting your or someone else's situation, okay? So it says you already have all the answers within you. You need to follow your intuition. Follow your freaking map that's built in you to take you to where you need to go. Okay? You heard that? It's confirmation. Uh, okay. Yeah, befriend the word polarized. Know that there are two things at the end of this pol the spectrum of polarity, okay? And they could be the same thing, but there's all these different choices in between that makes that happen. You choose who you are becoming, okay? Um, just you need to unstick something that's stuck. There could be like, you need to move out, move around. I'm hearing move your hips around <laughs> like hula hooping, okay? Um, because you need to move the energy around in your body. Magic happens when you most expect it. So start expecting magical things to happen. Um, your past supports your future, okay? So that's why, okay, bliss is worth creating for from for because first you go through all of these hardships, you know what I'm saying? And then from that, you create something beautiful because you awaken and you realize who you are. You ignite that spark of your hustle. But then, you know, now once you create from the bullshit, now you're creating for the better you that you have brought out of yourself. And then you just keep on creating up from there. You made it, you are making or you're going to make soon a mission statement between you and your soul and spirit okay you need to stay grounded as things stop dropping ground come on spirit one more yeah you're in flow with money or you will be right now <laughs> if you take my advice you'll be you'll be more in flow with your money because it's something going on like you need to listen to some um sound bowl some chakra sound bowl videos too like one that runs through all of the sound bowls you got this guardian angel love yourself unconditionally and ask for help your guides and ancestors want you to ask for help um archangel lavender prepare for soul healing and forgive and release everyone you need to forgive everything and everyone in your vicinity right now is very important to you to your journey okay you need to seek and you will find okay be a wise one that's what spirit's calling you to do and that's all i have for you pal two i gotta move on to pal three i don't want to like run out of time okay or go too much over time because y'all know i don't know how to be quiet okay and bye okay
Hey, pile three. Okay, look, if you chose pile three, you picked energy scanning and values and beliefs, okay? So energy scanning says our psychic energy is a precious resource that can help us in any situation. Tapping into this psychic energy allows us to blend with anyone or anything through energy scanning, which is a technique that felt like that was my news voice, okay? <laughs> which is a technique of feeling, seeing, or hearing intuitive information. This exercise can assist you in determining how you receive intuitive information, which will also assist in your mediumship development. And, okay, so you're a medium and you silly as hell like me. Have a friend stand in front of you. Okay, so you can try this out with a friend. You can have a friend stand in front of you or, you know, have them bring somebody around that you've never met and you guys just stand a couple feet apart and you close your eyes and imagine that you're both made of pure light, right? And then it says, imagine that energy field is blending with the other person's, you know, like this picture. That's a fire ass picture, Loki. But you can do this. This is like, you can really, like, as long as your aura and their aura is touching, this is what it does. It makes this light field around you guys that kind of closes your auras in together. And then so you can really get an impression off of their aura and tell them how they're feeling. So it's really cool. So that's a, that's a gift that you have, that you are unlocking or that you will unlock in the future, okay? Um, if you just, you know, stay down your path that you're supposed to be going down. At the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, Harry snaps the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the world, in two. Imagine if you faced a similar choice. What would you do? Would you make the same decision that Harry made? Okay, so um, you're very powerful. The point of that card to me always is saying you don't need the wand. You don't need the wand, okay? <laughs> you're very powerful. You can snap that wand in two if you want it because you your magic doesn't come from no damn wand. You could just get your another wand off of Amazon or something. Get, just get the second most powerful wand in the world after you break that first one because you, you are the most powerful wand in the world. This is the facts. <laughs> Archangel... Haramiel says, learn from your challenges, relax and trust. You need to have more trust in yourself, okay? In your ability to energy scan, you are scanning the fuck out of energy right now, okay? Archangel Uriel says, come into harmony and balance and use your power for peace. You can scan these energies, but you ain't using <laughs> the scanning of the energies to create the peace around you that you want. You're scanning the energies of these motherfuckers, being right about them, and then getting mad because you didn't leave the energy when you scanned it and you knew what it was. So listen to yourself because you're very powerful, you're very magical, and you know what the fuck is going on. You're not stupid, okay? And connect with the unicorns. Receive the white ascension flame. This is what you need to do. Everyone has their own personal uniform. You just, uniform, okay? Their own personal uniform. This is facts, though. But I'm going to get to that in a second. Everyone has their own personal unicorn, okay? You can do this meditation where you close your eyes. You imagine what your unicorn looks like. It looks personal to you because it's your unicorn, okay? And then you imagine that unicorn's horn touching your third eye that will activate you in a special type of way but i said everyone has their own uniform this is facts everyone has their own uniform their own job their own role to play in this life okay and either that shit coincides with yours or it doesn't but you should have the willpower the discernment and the inner knowing to know when to get away and when it's okay to still engage with people okay archangel dorenka Hone your psychic abilities and see through illusion, okay? This is what they're saying. You seeing the illusions, you need to break free from them. There's some sort of fear that you are about to start releasing, and that's when you're going to really realize the power of your energy scanning skills, okay? Um, it might make you really sensitive, too, for a while. Yeah, you're going through a transformation, and you're being... People are kind of confused by you, okay, Pile 3, because you're very transparent right now, which is what these dragonflies is telling me, but you're royalty, and you've come into knowledge that you are okay be conscientious cooperate with others for the highest good so you're meant here to do something good for the good the betterment of humanity of people um archangel amethyst purify your love your life with love prepare for something better okay so something better is on the way as long as you um keep following the path you're supposed to be following and that you're staying honest with yourself archangel muriel says trust your own wisdom and have faith in your psychic impressions so the psychic impressions that you are receiving also you might need to moon gaze moon gaze stargaze look at the moons look at the sun, sun gaze in the morning sun gaze before 7 30 okay that shit really um activates your third eye too 
Um, but there, I see a hawk, and so you need to see from a higher perspective when you're going through shit because you're putting too much on it like it's too much for you, okay? Seraphim, Seraphisa, relax and open up to source and keep your heart open. That's very important. Do not close yourself off to people just because they piss you off. Closing yourself off is not punishing them. It's punishing you, okay? Archangel Bobke says it's time to fly. Listen to your intuition, okay? This is, can they say it in uh, any... <laughs> Can they say it any in another way? Let's see. Archangel Mallory says, remember who you are and take action when you are ready. Okay. Same shit. Listen to yourself. Remember who you are at a soul level because our souls know things we don't know. Our souls know we royalty. Our souls know the lives we've lived before. That's what your Akashic Records is all about. Your Akashic Records is a plain and clear like story of your life. From the first time you incarnated, because you incarnate as like um, an element first. You, first you are an element. You started as fire, or you started as water, or you started as earth, or you started as air. Because you have to learn to be. You have to learn how to be before you can even be a cat. You need to learn the lesson of being. <laughs> okay? Think first before you judging people right now. You don't know what they're going through, what kind of magic's going on around them. I'm guessing you know a lot of people, pal three, you know a lot of people that um, is into magic and they act like they're not into magic. And you need to think first before you judging people because, like I was saying, they don't know that of the royalty that is in you. Like they don't, they didn't, they don't even know. Like it's okay. Like if they want to insult you, fine. You don't gotta win because your ancestors gonna whoop they ass. They finna paint the sun. <laughs> they finna paint the sun back into your life because bitches have taken the sun every chance that they got. My mom's coming in the door, and I'm not gonna pause it because I'm supposed to be going outside to smoke. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi. What you mean? Am I coming? Um, so you need to take yourself out on a date, okay? Don't be waiting on other people to show you no fucking attention. I'm telling you right now, this if you wanna attract that, you have to um work on attracting it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm recording. Um, but somebody's coming in that you need to take a chance on. You need to give them a chance. Don't don't seek anyone's outside approval on them. Just give them a chance. Um, you never needed those wings to fly. You have your wings, but you don't. You didn't need them. Your intuition and shit was working just fine before you got them damn wings. But that's good that you got your wings. Okay, look, now you can manifest your every wish. I cannot make it up. <laughs> it says, you've earned all your stripes. Now, release your guilt about anything you've been through because endings are inevitable, okay? They're always going to happen. Just make sure that if you're going to protest about something, let it be something that you truly believe in, like you, Okay. <laughs> Look, you don't need external validation at all. Manifesting and doing is what you're all about, and you're creating this level of bliss in your life. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to get a couple more because I made it. I made it in, in under enough time, okay? Fill your cup up with sacred giggles right now. That's what you need to worry about doing because you're magic and because your soul is on fire. And because you're shifting the way for new potential in your life right now. Like, you might be doing something. I don't know. Just totally different from what you normally do. But you need to overrate your intuition on this, okay? You don't need to um, get outside approval on it because it's not going to help you. You're just going to doubt yourself more. So, yep. Just <laughs> make a mission statement. Make a deal with you, yourself, your soul to get that done. And that's it. That's how I'm done with Power 3 now. And I made it in the time. So, I'll see y'all later. Have a good day.